I need everybody to work together and to listen to myself. This week, Middlebury removed what has become one of the most recognizable landmarks in Addison County, its inflatable field house, better known as the bubble. The bubble has been in service since 2002, housing squash courts and an indoor track. Yeah, well, I had surprisingly mixed emotions as a former lacrosse coach. I had coached a lot of practices in there. Um, a lot of great athletes have worked hard preparing, in my sense, in, uh, for lacrosse. But knowing the track athletes, the baseball athletes, the softball athletes, all the preseason work that's gone into the bubble, how much sort of sweat and tears and so on have been shed in that building, um, a lot's gone into it. It took about 25 workers to disassemble, deflate, and pack up the bubble which then took a short trip south to its new home at Castleton State College. The mixed emotions changed really quickly to elation, knowing what's going up in its place. Removing the bubble was a key step in Middlebury's plan to build a new permanent field house on the same site. Site preparation has begun for the new 110,000 square foot field house. Well, on the one hand, it, there's a simple replacing of the functions that the bubble did just at a better and bigger level. We'll have a brand new track. It'll be a nice, much nicer track, a bigger track. Um, on the other hand, though, it just the scale of it is, is so great for all the students, faculty, staff that are going to use it. Whether you're a varsity athlete coming down to play out of season, instead of playing on a small, hard surface, you're now coming down to play on an indoor turf field. If you're a track athlete, instead of running on an undersized uh, indoor track, you're running on a full-size indoor track. We can host indoor track meets. Uh, we'll have a, a cardio balcony where we might have anywhere from 20 to 30 cardio machines that really doubles the uh, number of cardio machines on campus, which are high demand by all of the constituencies on campus. Uh, we have a, a multi-purpose room that we can use for dance classes, for yoga, uh, for fitness classes. So we really tried to increase uh, the functionality around the outside of the, the playing space as well. The college plans to complete construction by fall of 2014.